darsimizda siz bilan pre intermediate kursimizning 6 unit haqida gaplashamiz va bu yerda to'g'ridan chiqsin 6.4 speaking and writing yozma va nutq mahoratimizni oshirishga harakat qilamiz golf bu qismda maqsadlarimiz give and respond to news yangiliklar etish va yangiliklarga javob berish present perfect simple with just already and yet hozirgina allaqachon va hadcha emas Just already yet so'zlarni ishlatgan holda present perfect hozirgi tugatilgan zamondagi gaplarni ishlatishimiz kerak. Writing and grammar, yozish mahorati va grammatika, responding to news and social media. Demek, uh, social media ijtimoiy tarmoqlardagi uh, yangiliklarga javob qaytarish. Exercise 1. Which sentence best describes how you use social media? Explain why you use or you don't use social media. Demek, bu gaplardan qaysi biri sizni ijtimoiy tarmoqlarni qanaqa darajada ishlatishingizni yaxshi ta'riflab beradi va bu qismda ijtimoiy tarmoqlarda ishlatishingiz va ishlatmasligingizga sabablar keltirib o'ting. Videoni pauza qiling va bu mavzuni yozma ravishda bajarishga urinib ko'ring. Keling, endi taxminiy javoblarni ko'rib chiqamiz. 1. I regularly post messages and photos on social media and there are a lot of reasons for that and the first reason is because Uh, I learn a lot of things uh, from social on social media and I have to show I want to show uh, how I'm feeling or in what stage of life I am uh, to my friends and to my family and close people. Exercise 2. Complete the post with the expressions in the box. Demek bu qismda berilgan postni qutichamizdagi berilgan expressions, ya'ni so'z birikmalarini ishlatgan holda to'ldirishimiz kerak bo'ladi. Videoni pauza qiling va bu mashqni yozma ravishda bajarishga harakat qilib ko'ring. Keling endi javoblarni birgalikda ko'rib chiqamiz. Alex Wang is at Wimbledon with two others. Amy Wang. Oh, you lucky thing. I'm so jealous. Have a fabulous time. Rob de Souza, have you seen any good matches yet? No, I Rob, I've just got here. Uh, Anna Paul, interview this afternoon. Wish me luck. Best of luck. Thinking of you. You will be fine. Fingers crossed, Hana. Timo Cartel, broken my shoulder. Ah, oh, bad luck. Get better soon. Get well soon. Wishing you a speedy recovery. Got the job. Brilliant. Well done. Congratulations. You're a star. Mark Owen, it's only October and winter. It has already arrived in Moscow. I can't believe it. Winter already? Get great pick, though. Yeah, love the pick. Exercise 3. Read the post again, which expressions are similar to the following. Postni yana bir marta o'qing va berilgan expressions, ya'ni so'z birikmalari yoki so'zlardan qaysi biri quyidagi qismlarga to'g'ri kelishini topishga harakat qiling. Videoni pauza qiling va bu mashqni yozma ravishda bajarib ko'ring. Keling endi javoblarni birgalikda ko'rib chiqamiz. A. Good luck. It's best of luck. Fingers crossed. B. Congratulations. Well done. C. I hope you feel better soon. Get better soon. Get well soon. Wishing you a speedy recovery. Exercise 4. The features below are typical of informal style. Underline examples of them in post. Demek bu qısımdaki qaydalar yoki xüsusiyyatlar informal, yani naformal stil, yani naformal yozu yoki gəpru tazının odati yoki aydın, açıq aydın Misollari bo'ladi. Demak, bu qismda postimizdagi, oldinga berilgan postimizdagi bu kabi so'zlarning yoki strukturalarning, xususiyatlarning misollarini topishimiz kerak bo'ladi. Exclamation marks, short form of words, for example, ad for advertisement, comments in brackets, informal expressions, missing out words. Videoni pauza qiling va bu mashqni yozma ravishda mustaqil ravishda bajarishga harakat qilib ko'ring. Exercise 5. We often use the present perfect simple with just already and yet. Choose the correct option to complete the rules in grammar focus box. Demek, hazır ki tükəlləyən zamanı, biz just already yet. Hazır ki nə, ləqəcən, hələcə eməz ki, bu sözləri bilən qopçilik, qopəncə işlətəmiz, qopçilik vəziyyətlədə işlətəmiz və bu qısımda grammar focus xoqçəsini doldurış üçün doğru variantı belirləşin gəs kərək. Grammar focus, present perfect simple with just already yet. We use just for something which happened very recently. We put it before the main verb. Demek, just hazır günə sözünü juda yaqın vəziyyətdə, juda yaqın 
holatda very recently, ya'ni juda yaqinda sotib bo'lgan ish harakatni ko'rsatish uchun ishlatamiz va boximda bu asosiy fe'ldan oldin keladi. I've just got here. We use already for something which happened before now or earlier than expected. We usually put it before the main verb. Demi already allaqachon so'zini biz oldin hozirdan oldin va biz kutganimizdan oldin sodir bo'lgan ish harakatlarini ko'rsatishda ishlatamiz va uni asosiy fe'ldan oldin ko'rsatamiz. Winter has already arrived in Moscow. We use yet in negative sentences and questions for something we expected to happen before now or that we plan to do but happened up to now. We put it at the end of the sentence. Demak, yet hali gacha emas kabi so'zni biz inkor va so'roq gaplarda, savol gaplarda ishlatamiz va hozirdan oldin biz kutayotgan ish harakat yoki biz plan qilgan, lekin haligacha qilmagan, hozirgacha haligacha qilmagan ish harakatini ifodalashda ishlatamiz va yet so'zi gapning oxirida keladi. Have you seen any good matches yet? Exercise 6 make sentences from the prompts using the present perfect simple and already just yet. Demek bu qismda berilgan so'zlarni va already just yet so'zlarni ishlatgan holda to'g'ri hozirgi zamon tugallangan zamonda gaplar tuzishimiz kerak. Videoni pauza qilgan holda bu mashqni yozmalashni bajarishga urinib ko'ring. Keling endi javob bilan birgalikda ko'rib chiqamiz. They haven't announced the winner of the competition yet. The police has already arrested a man for the robbery. 3. My brother has just just got engaged. 4. Have you started your new job yet? 5. She has just bought a motorbike. Exercise 7 A. Task. Now write three posts for a social media website. Ijtimoiy tarmoqlardagi sayt uchun uchta post yozishingiz kerak. 1. Something interesting you are doing now. 2. Something exciting you are going to do very soon. 3. Something you have just arrived. Some good news. Demek bu qismda videoni pauza qiling va bu mashqni, bu savollarga javoblarni yozmalashda bajarishga urinib ko'ring. Keling endi taxminiy javoblarni ko'rib chiqamiz. 2. Something exciting you are doing. You are going to do very soon. Well, it's 29 December uh, 2021. It's and two days left till New Year and I'm going to have a great time with my family. We're going to um, uh, just have fun, go to gym gun and just uh, skiing and just some other good activities. Exercise 7B. Work in a group and swap your posts, write responses to other people's posts. Demek group tashlang va o'z postlaringizni bir-biringiz bilan almashing va bu o'z cheriklaringizning postlariga response yani javob yozishga harakat qiling. Videoni pauza qilgan holda bu mashqni ham yozma ravishda bajarishga urinib ko'ring. Listening and speaking. Eshitish va nutq mahoratimizni oshirishga harakat qilamiz. Giving and responding to news. Yangiliklarni berish va yangiliklarga reaksiya bildirish. Exercise 8A. Work with a partner and look at the photos. What has happened? U sheringiz bilan ishlang va rasmlarga qarang. Nima nima sodir bo'ldi deb o'ylaysiz. Exercise 8B. Listen and match conversations 1 to 5 to photos A to E. Demek, bu qismda audioni eshiting va 1dan 5 gacha bo'lgan suhbatlarni A'dan E gacha bo'lgan rasmlarga to'g'rilab qo'yib chiqishga harakat qiling. Keling, endi javoblarni birgalikda ko'rib chiqamiz. O'zingiz ko'rganingizdek, 1 is D, 2 C, 3 A, 4 B and 5 E. Exercise 9A. Listen again. Take the expressions that you hear. Two expressions are not in the conversation. Audioni yana bir bor eshiting va o'zingiz eshitgan so'z birikmalari va expressions frazalarni belgilab ketishga harakat qiling va bu berilgan suhbatlarda ikkita fraza yoki ibora ishlatilmagan. Audio 6.14. 1. Hey, I've got some good news. Patty's had her twins. Oh, wow. What she had? A boy and a girl. Oh, how wonderful. What are their names? Thomas and Rose. Oh, have you seen them yet? No, I'm seeing them tomorrow. Two. Hiya. Are you okay? No, not really. I've just failed my driving test. Oh, never mind. You can try again soon. Yeah, but I've already taken it three times. 
That was my fourth test. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. Three. Hi, Tanya. It's me. I'm on the train. Listen, I've got bad news. What? A tree has fallen on the track ahead of us. Oh, no. Are you OK? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. But I'm going to be very late home. I'm not going to be back in time for the concert tonight. Oh, what a shame. I know. I was really looking forward to it. Maybe somebody else can go with you. Maybe. It's a bit late, but I'll send out a few texts. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Oh, don't worry. That's life. At least you're safe. Four. Hey, Nina, guess what? What? I've just won the prize for best young ice hockey player in the region. That's fantastic. When did you find out? Just now. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. Five. Have you heard the news about the fires in Australia? No. What's happened? There have been some terrible forest fires in Western Australia. It's a really serious situation. Have people died? No, I don't think so. But hundreds of houses have burned down and thousands of people have left their homes. <gasps> That's awful. Yes, terrible. Killing in the job lambrigal to corrupt the killing in the job lambrigal to corrupt Hamas books on the four what a pity and thirteen that's great. Dambosh Hamas Shetalian, they make good. I've got some good news. Oh wow, how wonderful! Never mind. Oh dear, I'm sorry, I've got bad news. Oh no, what a shame. Guess what? That's fantastic. I'm really happy for you. Have you heard the news? That's awful. Exercise 9b. Work with a partner, match expressions in exercise 9a to these functions. All sharing is mentioning what Dr. Jay was to be again. Phrasal and expressions, Larna, they make Ozno Constitut and Sos Larna, Birgan Funksilerge, Chorlap Jolester Pushka Harakat, and Vijana Pazak again called the Bumashna, Yosman has to be Jashka or no Kori. Killing in the job line of the corp. Killing in the job line of the corp. A. Introducing news. They are, I've got some good news. I've got some bad news. Guess what? Have you heard the news? B. Responding to bad news. What a pity. Never mind. Oh dear, I'm sorry. Oh no, what a shame. That's awful. C. Responding to good news. Oh wow, how wonderful. That's fantastic. I'm really happy for you. That's great news. Pronunciation, intonation in short expressions. Yani books in the telephones now should share that with us. The quick phrases are the intonation in short expressions. Make your voice go higher and lower to sound as if you really mean what you're saying. If you use a flat intonation, it can sound as if you don't really care. They make a quick bow bearian. So it's not like the phrasing. They make phrases are now should share that with us. Ağızımızda, internasyamızda doymi ravişi kotarak düşürücük duruşumuz ve ağızımızda harikli kılıcımız gerek oladı. Çünkü şu orkali yine biz aynı reallikte ham nümayet ediyotkenimizi kongilden ait ediyotkenimiz, kongilden çıkar ediyotkenimizi korsatışka hareket kılamız. Eğer flat bir kıl internasyon işlet edin borcengiz, şundan kaya korunup oladı ki siz bu hakkıda kaya korumayacağız. Yok, you don't care. Sizge farkı yok. Exercise. 9C. Listen, compare A and B. Demek audio neşliyim ve bu kısımdaki A ve B strukturlarının farkını düşünüşke hareket edin. O zaman göz korkana gizek. That's fantastic. Ve that's fantastic. Bu kısımda o zaman göz korkana gizek fark var. That's fantastic kısımda. İkincisi de mano yok ve onda kay koruyuş yok ki emotiyonu yok ile koruyuşun giz. Mümkün. Exercise 9D. Listen and repeat the phrases in exercise 9A. Copy the intonation. Demek dokuzuncu ayın başında geberilgen frazalarına eşitin ve onlarını takrarlayın ve o yerdeki intonasyonu o zingizge koçurup olışka hareket kılın. Audio 6.16 1. 
I've got some good news. Two. Oh, wow! Three. How wonderful! Four. What a pity! Five. Never mind. Six. Oh dear, I'm sorry. Seven. I've got bad news. Eight. Oh no. Nine. What a shame. Ten. Guess what? Eleven. That's fantastic. Twelve. I'm really happy for you. Thirteen. That's great news. Fourteen. Have you heard the news? Fifteen. That's awful. Exercise 10a. After we have responded to news, we usually ask a follow-up questions for how, for example, how wonderful, what are their names, or that's terrible, are you okay? Write a response to each piece of news and follow-up questions. Demi boxunda uzin skorganizik, brother, Yangilikir reaksi bildirganimizdan keyin qo'shimcha follow up, ya'ni davom ettiruvchi savollar beramiz. Odatda, masalan, how wonderful qanday ajoyib, ularning ismlari nima yoki juda ham yomon, yaxshimisan. Write response, demak, bu qismda berilgan 1 dan 4 gacha bo'lgan yangiliklarga reaksiya bildirishimiz kerak, ya'ni javob berishimiz kerak va qo'shimcha davom ettiruvchi savollar bilan davom ettirishimiz kerak bo'ladi va bu qismda 1. I've just booked a safari holiday. 2. Someone has stolen my brand new laptop. 3. We have decided to get married. 4. Another storm has hit the east coast of the USA. Video number one is going to be able to answer these questions. You can answer these questions. You can answer these questions. Let's go to the next question. 1. That's wonderful. Where and when are you going? 2. Oh no, where was it? Have you told the police? 3. Congratulations, when is the wedding? 4. That's awful, how many people lost their homes? Has anybody died? Exercise 10b. Work with a partner, take turns to give the news and respond. Shubhalam, bugungi darsimiz ovozni qo'yishga yetdi, sizni keyingi darslarda kutib qolamiz.